As you all know, I love everything FPV related, and I'm a little bit of an evangelicalist when it comes to getting people into the hobby. So much so that I've had friends in the past say, you talk too much about FPV. And to those friends, I say, you're no longer friends because FPV is where it's at. But there is a problem with FPV, and that is the cost. The cost of entry and the cost of parts is sometimes seen as a real prohibiting factor to a lot of people. And I respect that and I understand that. And I was in a similar situation myself a few years ago when I first started in it. So, Oddity RC reached out to me a few weeks ago and said, Bro, we've got a new stack. It's $35. Do you want to check it out? And Oddity RC were good to me last year. So I said, yeah, absolutely. We worked together on the um, XI20 and the XI25. Some really good cine whoops, to be fair. Um... So when they reached out with this, I was like, yeah, no, no, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, the caveat to all this is obviously they sent it to me for free. Um, but as always, my thoughts will always be my own. So you don't need to worry about the fact that I'm a paid shill if you are new to this channel. If something isn't worth your money, I will tell you. And for that reason, a lot of manufacturers don't work with us. So if you want to support the channel, there is going to be a link to this in the description down below, which will be an affiliate link, and that will help the channel, but not cost you an extra penny. Okay, let's get into it. So let's have a look at what you get included in the box. So it's the uh, the Oddity RC Vortex Stack Series. You've got the user manual on a QR code there. You've got the flight controller there and the ESC there. We'll just move all this out of the way now straight away i haven't looked at this before today okay straight away you've got an xt60 and an xt30 both wired up i love that there's plenty of premium stacks where you don't get that in fact the majority of the premium stacks you'll get sometimes an xt30 and an xt60 connector but you've got to wire them up yourself the fact that both of these come pre-wired is brilliant the one thing i really hate when building is putting the xt6 or soldering the xt60 onto the cables i just find it it's one of the more uh, challenging aspects it's something i'm just not fun, uh, a fan of so in here we've got a capacitor which is a 470 35 volt you've got your screws you don't appear to have frame bolts but most frames will come with them you've got gummies and then you've got the cable that goes from the flight controller of course to the esc so everything you need in there let's take a look first of all then at the esc so we can see straight away that you've got nice big pads there for your motors and of course for your xt or your battery leads be xt30 or xt60 there is also separate holes there for your capacitor to go through we can see them if i can get a pointy thing but we can see there you've got holes for your capacitors there and looking at some of the details of the esc so it's a 30 to 40 amp esc with a peak current of 50 to 60 amps it will take between 3 and 6s it does say that there is an 8S version available upon request. I suspect the 8S version will probably cost a little bit more. Uh, it says the ESC is running AM32. That's a big, big win, in my opinion. It will run D-Shot 150, 300 or 600. It says it's a 20 by 20 mount. I didn't even spot that when I opened it. And it weighs 7.3 grams. And that is the ESC that's included in this. Let's take a look at the flight controller. Keep in mind, a lot of flight controller stacks can run you 150 bucks. They can be prohibitively expensive for what they are. So we're gonna take a look at this with that in mind, with the fact that this, everything you see here, everything is 30, not, not my pointy thing, everything else that you see here is $35 so about 28 quid if you're in the UK unbelievable value absolutely unbelievable value I don't know how they're doing it I genuinely don't and if they can do it and make a profit then my question would be to other manufacturers charging 150 bucks what on earth is going on that's another story for another day okay so the flight controller is an F405 so it's not obviously going to be the fastest but we've had this debate on the channel in the past few weeks where I've actually said 
I want only drones or Boy Wonder to set up two quads for me. We'll completely wipe the OSD. I'll wear the goggles and we'll plug them both in back to back and I'll fly them back to back. We'll make them the same size, the same props, the same batteries, and it's a case of can you tell a difference? And if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm almost guaranteed to say I won't be able to tell a difference between an F4 and an F7. Now, that said, where I've got the money and where I've got the ability to, I'll always pick a H7 because I always believe in future proofing, especially when my quads will be around for years because you guys will ask me for a comparison video for a drone I did four years ago. So it still needs to work in years to come. But that said, an F4 will still work in years to come. I just personally like to future proof it. But if I can build more quads for $35 for the stack and potentially you, you you're spending a quarter on that than you would normally it's a big big win the gyro is an icm 42688p it's got an osd chip if you're running analog it's got a barometer it's got a 16 megabit black box you've got five uarts so you've got obviously one for your dji system one for your elrs one for your gps and then you've got a couple spare Th those are the minimum that I would uh, personally set up. So generally speaking, I would always look to a minimum of three UARTs. Anything else above and beyond that, I'm pretty comfortable with. Uh, it's got a five and a nine volt two amp BET TVS protection. Again, we'll work up to six uh, S with an eight S available on request. It's running Betaflight or INAV. Mounting is 20 by 20 and it weighs 6.5 grams. Now, there is a little note on Oddity's website here that states, as this firmware is still in internal testing phase, only offline firmware testing is available. It can be downloaded from the Oddity official website. We're currently in contact with the Betaflight team to upload to online firmware. And we've got 4.3, 4.4.3. So with that in mind, that's something that you're going to want to bear in mind. So what they're saying is because for, for whatever reason, and I assume this is, this is from a budgeting reason in order to keep things cheaper, but the firmware isn't available on Betaflight. So you can't update this via Betaflight. You've got to download this version and then you still do it via Betaflight. Don't get me wrong. You just say, I've got the file here and then you point to wherever you've downloaded it to. And we'll, we'll do a setup video and we'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. But that being said, it's important to note that it's only 4.4.3. So if you want all the niceties of 4.6, sorry about flight, I'm not calling it 2025.12, I'm just not doing it, then you are gonna have to bear that in mind at this moment in time. I'm sure once they get it on Betaflight, it won't be a problem and it'll be updated with all, all the others at the same time. But that's just something to bear in mind. So if you're gonna spend that $35 on a stack, the one real sort of um, compromise that you are going to have to make with this is the fact that you are currently only going to be able to use 4.4.3. Now, is that a massive issue? Well, for $35, I don't think it is. If it stays on only 4.4.3, then it could potentially become a bit of an issue later on, but it is only an F405 as well. So again, you know, Pick, pick your battles wisely. I think overall for $35, it's not something that's going to bother me. I'm going to be more than okay with it, if I'm completely honest, if it only ever stays at 4.4.3. Now, uh, I've been asked, obviously, on my Discord channel, Summy says, put it next to something. When it comes to all of these drone parts, put them next to something that's relatable so we know just how big it is. So this is a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, and this is your flight stack here. And obviously, in your drone, it's going to be like that and we can see it's a little bit less high or less thick without the gummies, but with the gummies, it's gonna be about the same sort of thickness as a Samsung Galaxy S25. And that's our initial first look. We'll head over to the PC now and we'll show you how you update it because it is a bit of a different process, just so that you guys know. But yeah, I think overall, 35 bucks, considering the spec and everything, this is pretty, pretty damn impressive. Let me know what you think. YouTube and I have had a chat and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most. So watch it and let me know if they're right.